guys, what's up? Happy 4th of July. So, if you're not looking at fireworks right now, or legally or un unlegally, just depending on where you are. So, today, if you're not watching fireworks, just watch this. My Final Destination 3 review. Released in 2006, Final Destination 3 has the beginning of the film with foreshadowing, and it's on a roller coaster instead of a plane or cars. So, this makes people who are afraid of heights extremely afraid of heights and roller coasters. So, a lot more foreshadowing kills all of them, pretty much. And also, it barely has anything to do with other movies, even though they do slightly mention it, but it's really not that important. So, let's get into Final Destination 3 and see if it's good or not. Let's go into Final Destination 3, which might be the best in the series. So, our movie begins with some credits. Where a ball can go into death, or them living. And of course it's gonna go into death. Of course it chooses death. Unless you're in the choose your fate mode, which is completely uncanon, so... I'm not gonna review that. So then, we go to some people riding the high dive. Where eventually it says die when they look at the picture again. Let the foreshadowing begin! They say that anything don't kill you will make you stronger, but in this series... That won't work, so that Kevin can take a picture of Stacy's camel toe, and she can take a picture of his face, where these pictures would be very important. She's going to break up with Kevin, and these hot twins get some thing, a prize, and they get a picture. You want to know, and you haven't noticed yet, the pictures are very important to this plot, for some reason. It's the reason why the Prime Minister's come. So they have some fun with dancing, and they see that her sister's there, so she flips him off. And then this jock gets a picture because he's a strong guy. And then they see Tony Todd playing a devil in the sky. You can run, but you cannot hide. Tony Todd, most of the time, is in the movies, except for the fourth one, but that's it. He's technically in this one, but it's kind of more of a cameo where he's the devil's voice. So, if you wanted Tony Todd in this movie, you're not getting him. Mostly. They see a perv with a camera, and they really have a lot of foreshadowing here. Where she doesn't go in the front, because she's scared, so she decides to go in the back with Kevin. This dick takes their seat. Yeah, that's not a very good choice. You might want to get off now, before you die. Then some kids have to get off because they're too short. Look for you kids, it's not your time to die yet. Until death randomly decides to kill you. So when putting their seat down, some crap starts to leak. And she can't have her camera on there, so he can get a stuck gum stuck on his hands. So then the ride starts, and they go up that hill. Let's go into the roller coaster that killed them. Extremely brutally. At first, the ride is pretty fun, and I would love to be on this ride. But Frankie drops his camera, so everything gets screwed up when it gets ran over. And the wheels start to break, and people in the front die by going off the freaking rails, and then the jock is flying off the ride, and he dies, and then they get to the loop where the goths both die, and then two other people that we don't know right now die, so then they rock the goddamn thing, so it falls on the other end, but Kevin is ripped in half, so then she can die, ending this roller coaster scene. Yo, what, you can't- It still looks fun, except for the whole- Death thing. Only the back is open. Again, like with almost every Final Destination movie, there, there is a fight, of course. So, they all, all the people in the back get out, and pretty much the people in the front are screwed when they really want to go on the ride. So, they then die in the same way somehow. about these people at all, so I really don't care. Plus, this is kind of a loophole, since technically you wouldn't kill anybody since Frankie's camera kind of caused it, so what the hell caused it this time? So after a few days, she's sad because only kids at her school died for some reason. There's no other people in that thing. So people try to help her, and Kevin references the first movie, saying people who live that die in weird ways. It is nice to know we have some continuity, since really, after the second movie, it has nothing to do with the first one, except for the fifth one, but that's it. 
So then the twins go and get a tan, and they take their drinks with them, and they break off the shelf. And while getting a CD, they listen to Roller Coaster of Love. Roller Coaster just crashed. I mean, have some decency to, you know, not listen to a song called Roller Coaster of Love when people die in a roller coaster. But you're gonna die anyway, so. Turns out the thing is getting really, really hot. Not because they're hot. And it's from the water, so then Wendy sees that there's something weird about that picture. So the shelf falls, trapping them inside there, so they can get sunburned to death. And then they get buried. Nice death! And if you really want to see the titty suits, I didn't show the burnt titty since I didn't want to, go watch the movie since then you can see burnt titties. So they're dead, and Frankie blames himself because whatever, and then Jock wants a PSP when he dies. And then Wendy is with Jay, and she feels evil presence with her. My alert! It's death! So she brings out where Lincoln was shot in 9-11, so they can reference the second movie, so they can go and get something to eat, and giant Spongebob will kill Frankie. Sounds like a cool death, since I did review the Spongebob Squarepants movie last month, so... Well, at least we'll see a cool death. get crushed by a giant Spongebob? Hey, Spongebob lives underwater. Like I said, I reviewed the Spongebob Squarepants movie last month. You don't have to tell me. It's so, so sad that you know that. But they get trapped inside of there when the radio changes and the truck is out of control with no driver. But the person in front won't move. So they break that window and the guy in the car dies. It was Frankie in the car. Didn't expect that. That or would have been a random person death killed, which would have screwed up his order. So of course it's gonna be a dude that was on the freaking roller coaster. They then check the photos, and he, Frankie was behind a fan, so that's pretty much why he died that way. And Kevin is really afraid that something will be shoved up his ass when he dies. I said I wouldn't talk about this, but the mode where you can change the deaths, you can make it so Frankie lives. And he goes to prison and probably gets butt-fucked and then killed by getting butt-fucked. Wouldn't surprise me if that's what happened. So they go to tell Lewis that he's gonna die, but he says he isn't because there's a lot of dangerous shit around here. But some swords break, and lines break, and the weight kills him. That's all I know to do, Kevin! Baby, I just win! <laughs> With that PSP, since you gotta make him play Star Wars Battlefront 2, because it's an awesome game. So, he's dead, and she blames herself. So then, when they go to see the gods, he shoots some pigeons, and they can scare the shit out of them, and more foreshadowing, but they are just screwing around with them. So, now for the real foreshadowing, where it can begin with banners and the nails, boxes falling, and, st and him about to slip. I'm going to skip the foreshadowing, since, you know, I just want to see the death. He's saved, but the girl isn't. That's piercing to the extreme. So they're freed from the cops, and they kind of sound like they're crazy. And they're not friends, so her sis takes her lucky charm while she's sleeping, and she her, and her sister was actually there, so she thinks that she might die. She knows that her sister was on the roller coaster. She's probably gonna die next. So then they look at their pictures, and hers says McKinley, so she thinks she'll die by McKinley killing her, and. Like a firework went off in my face? Sounds like a cool death, and that's the reason why I'm reviewing this for the 4th of July. Hell yeah! And then Death tells her that someone's behind her, so Kevin could be all paranoid with fire. So, she sees Julie, and a horse sets her free. Don't worry, she's fine. Until the end of the movie where she dies, but... We don't know if they die. What the hell was that? So now, it's Kevin's turn. But she saves him just in time, so they can get there, and he says he's not gonna die. It's you, Wendy! You're dead! 
You know, anybody in the series who says they're not gonna die, they die in a few seconds. So, he's gonna die. We called it. We skipped six months later where she's seen more clues and advertisements where people die. And then she sees her sister and does not get off for some reason. And then she sees Kevin. So Since they're all together, death is gonna take them all down in one blow. And a few other people. So they die like in the pictures, and when he has a broken leg, she, she can't move, and she dies. I was but or it's another premonition. Hope this helps. They can't stop the train, and they probably died in there. A high chance that they died, but it's not 100%. They could have lived this. I mean, it's possible to live that. I mean, they're gonna die eventually, but it, it, they could have lived, baby. I'm not keeping my hopes up, but they could have. That was Final Destination 3. Wasn't perfect, but I liked the movie, and definitely my favorite in the series. Other ones are just okay. This one's good, though. Now, the series will get worse, but. Final Destination 3 is actually a really good movie, and I liked it a lot. I mean, it's probably my favorite in the series, to be honest. And I like it, because I, I love roller coasters. I really do. The adrenaline is fun. This film actually makes it look fun to freaking die on that roller coaster. And the kills are pretty good in the movie. I mean, I wouldn't say that they probably are some of the best in the series. I wouldn't say they're all the best, but they are pretty good kills overall. And then the character, they all right. I mean... I like some of them, like, they're alright, I guess. The lead, not as good as some of the others in the series, but I'll take it, and definitely my favorite in the series, so I give the movie a 4 out of 5, very close to a 3, but it's a good enough film, I mean, it's the second to last, of, if you don't count the fifth movie in the series, so it's pretty good, I mean, trust me, the series will get worse, since this is New Line Cinema, so guys like my 4th of July review of Final Destination 3. As next time we'll be looking at something, no clue what with the schedule. And I'll see you guys then. See ya. gonna get crushed by a giant Spongebob? Hey, Spongebob lives underwater. You can run, but you cannot hide.